When I first purchased my lab radar, it worked quite well with a normal rifle using the internal mics as depicted by the red arrows in this picture. It reliably recorded velocities and data worked every time and it wasn't very sensitive to muzzle placement. But as I went on to a suppressed rifle, I discovered it did not trigger reliably, so I purchased the air gun microphone trigger system as depicted in this picture. You can see the bracket that can be attached about any spot around the sides of the unit, but in this picture I have it attached to the left. Also you receive a microphone and a cord. The cord plugs into the unit below the battery port and that's what triggers the unit when you fire a suppressed rifle. So you wind up with a unit that looks like this. We'll talk about how to put this all together in this video. Well, to start off with here, we're going to set up the lab radar with this new uh, microphone system I bought for it. Um, according to the manual, it should be stuck on the sides of the lab radar. And this right here is the bracket that holds it to the lab radar. This is going to be my auxiliary battery. And this is the microphone, if I can get it out of here, that is the pickup for the uh, mic activated lab radar. So we'll see if we can dig out a cord for the battery. And of course, if I need to, I can refer to the instructions here for the setup, which is uh, slightly different then the setup is for a lab radar without the mic. So I'll stick that here so it won't blow away. The lab radar comes in this case and this is what it looks like. So I've kind of uh, had a look at the instructions and it says that what you're supposed to do is take this device and slide it on right here somewhere. So we'll slide it on like that and then clip the microphone to it using the little clip that comes attached to the cord. And uh, then just to make it a little more secure, we'll wind this a couple of times around the lab radar um, case. So as it says instructions, you don't want to put any extra strain on this wire and then lift this, plug the mic into this port right here. Take a quick look to be sure we have our card in there like we should and then I'll pick up this which is what I use for holding the lab radar. Turn to tighten it. So, like this. And now we'll stick the extra battery on the tape on the side with the ports downward. So they'll be pointed toward the battery input. We take this and plug it into one of these large USB ports here. Obviously they have to be oriented the right way. Hook this onto the side on the industrial grade, um, I don't know what they call that if it's not actually 3M, but anyway. So then this cord has to be oriented correctly and it goes in there so we'll have the battery. So that's the setup for the lab radar with the microphone on it. Now, according to the instructions, we'll be setting this out near the muzzle and we'll make a further recording when we get to that point. So at this time, I think I'll shut off the lab radar, read this again, so I'd be sure I get 
everything set correctly and uh, then we'll continue with trying to see how this mic activated system works with the suppressor. I've tried firing the rifle with the suppressor without the mic setup and it doesn't seem to me to be reliable. So hopefully once we get everything arranged here we'll have it uh, set up to where it will be reliable and it will record every shot. But this is a test so it might not work out like I hope. We shall see. So this is what the setup looks like. I've gone through the menus and changed a few things and uh, I'm going to experiment a little bit with placement. I'm also kind of zeroing this rifle too so I have a few extra shots that I'll be using for zeroing and for testing to see if the lab radar detects them correctly and records them as data according to instructions. So we'll go ahead and arm the thing in a minute here and uh, start shooting and see what we get. So what we're shooting here is a six and a half Creedmoor uh, with a 123 grain Lapua uh, CNR bullets. Uh, in federal cases, or some of them, and some of them are lobbyists. But uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and give this a try here to see if it records the shots and uh, to see where my zero is. So I'm going to reach up here and arm the lab radar. Take a double check to be sure that the little sight move is aimed where I want it to be. And uh shot here and see what we got. So this is marked right here. You probably can't see it in the camera, but marked as to what load and what bullet we have here. So we've checked the bore for obstructions, and now we're gonna give this a shot and see with uh, the 100 yard zero that I think is going to be right and uh, see if, uh, if it records the data appropriately or not. Uh, so I have a big sight in target down here and uh, we'll see. The screen says V0 at the moment and uh, let's give this a shot and see where the round goes. Okay, it recorded it as 28.38 and uh, I can see the hole. It, it looks like it's about four inches low, so we're at 100 yards. We'll crank it up four MOA here, two, three, four, uh, eject that shell. Take a look and see if we have any signs of it just fine with a velocity of 2830. Now we'll stick another one in here. Give it another shot and see. The windage looked pretty good. And so uh, we'll uh, go ahead and give this a Maybe to the right about three quarters of an inch. So we'll eject this. We'll make those adjustments now. We're up one inch and we want to crank it to the right three quarters of an inch, which on this scope will give us uh, three clicks. One, two, three. And it did record that velocity as 2837. So it looks like this mic setup works well with this suppressor. We'll give it another crack here and see what we got. Uh, 
And that is uh, excellent windage. Looks like it's about a quarter inch high. I'll crank it down one. And uh, I'm going to move this bipod so it's not quite so high. And that way maybe I'll be a little steadier with the uh, rear of the rifle. And we'll also get to see if this microphone works with it not in uh, maybe what would be termed the ideal spot. So, you know, uh, where's that button? There it is. Give these a little tight in here. That's um, what I think of this uh, new setup with the lab radar. When using a suppressed gun, the lab radar folks tell me they do it all the time, but then they know exactly where to set it. So I think that setting up this microphone here makes it a little more forgiving, and I believe this is what I'll use when I shoot a suppressed gun. I'll do that for a couple reasons. It's just a little more convenient, easy to get everything in the right place, and the second reason will be that it will trigger and record all the data I want it to record so I will not have any wasted shots. So I guess I'll have to say I'm changing my position on not needing this air gun microphone setup. Um, I'd say it would be a good thing to have.